Hello everyone, this is Kyle with Glidefast Consulting and today I'm going to show you how to create your own personal developer instance for ServiceNow. To start, you will need to navigate to developer.servicenow.com and it will take you to the developer homepage that should look something like this. From here, you will need to probably create an account if you are new to ServiceNow or log in if you do have a developer account. So I already do have one and I will sign in. So once you've created an account or signed in with an existing account, it will take you to your homepage. It'll say welcome with your name and you will see a tile on the left side that says get a free developer instance. So you'll want to click on request an instance. The next screen is going to ask you which release you want the instance to be on. So ServiceNow has two new releases every year with new features and it goes in alphabetical order. The oldest one available is N for New York and then O for Orlando and the latest one is P for Paris. So if you don't know which one to choose, I recommend choosing the latest release which would be in this case Paris. So we're going to go ahead and request our personal instance. So it should take a couple minutes to process this request and you will see fulfilling request here under your instance. So it'll take about three to four minutes to spin that up for you. All right, so it's been about four minutes and now as you can see, the instance status is online and they'll provide here the URL that your new instance is, the current release it's on and the remaining activity. So you wanna keep an eye on your activity because if you don't generate any activity, such as logging in and making any changes to your instance for 10 days, ServiceNow will release the instance and you will have to generate a new one in that case. Also, if you go down to manage, there's other things you can do such as resetting the password, resetting and wiping the instance, upgrading it if there's a newer version available, and also activating plugins if you wanna try any of the plugins ServiceNow has available, you would do that through here. You should also have received an email once your instance went online with the username and password. It should look something like this. As you can see, your username will always be admin and then they will generate a password for you. I'm gonna click on the link here for my instance, copy the password, so username is admin, password is from the email. We'll go ahead and log in. So from there, it'll actually ask you to make a new password and change it from the one that they provided. So I will put in the old password and then just type in a new one real quick. All right, so once you put in your new password, you're gonna be taken to the homepage of your brand new developer instance. You should be logged in as the system administrator with security admin and all the other roles that you would need to make changes to the instance. Personal developer instances are a great way to sort of get to know ServiceNow and change and tinker with things in a consequence-free environment. Your instance should also come with demo data, which means it'll have certain data and tables such as incident here. You can see there's already some existing incidents with notes, short descriptions, comments, that'll let you see what an in-progress incident would look like. In addition, there's gonna be users, groups, and basically everything you need to sort of get started and learn what ServiceNow would look like in an active instance. That's really it for everything you need to know about opening a developer instance. Thank you for listening. My name is Kyle and have a great day.